Hello, it's Michael Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be using Mixamo's Fuse. This is, I'm using the old version, but this will work exactly the same for the Adobe version. And we're going to get it into Blender, and I'm going to use Auto Rig Pro Tool to quickly rig it up. We will be doing some other stuff as well. Um, I'm not going to be using this body, I'm going to be using a different body that comes with it. So, I've created my character, File, Export, Export as Model, uh, Okie Dokie. And let me just quickly put it in here. So I'm going to call this car underscore comma Eve, because this is part of my short film that I'm creating. So I'm going to let this export. And so here we are in Blender 2.8. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go file import OBJ. And here's my character. Double click. And we can see he's a gigantor with really ugly toes. I'm going to press uh, S to scale 0.01. And that'll bring it down to here. Let's delete that. I'm going to press numpad one just to go into orthographic. And I'm going to press control A and apply the scale. So now he is one rather than 0.01. From here, I'm going to import a sci-fi clothing that I made in a previous video you can watch. I'm going to click append. And I will go to where my clothing test is import the collection and let me just delete some of the lighting that I had set up for it and as you can see now we've kind of got this overlapping which is not what we want so I'm going to select not this one but the next one delete as now we've got this character left now I want to put him in this um, outfit so what I'm going to do is go tab into edit mode and I'm going to chop off his neck I'm going to press V to rip, control L, delete vertices. And now we're left with this, which is exactly what we want. So from here, I need to kind of rescale this so it fits a little bit better in the clothing. So I'm going to select proportional editing and I'm going to enable connected only because I only want to affect this bit here and not so much the hair. So I'm just going to scale. That's a little bit too much. Press O, you idiot. Let's press connected only again. Scale with the mouse wheel. Let's just go in and kind of just rescale his head a little bit. How are we looking here at the front? Let's select everything. G, Z. Let's grab this scale on the X. Come around to the side. I am going to just select this bit here. Let's bring that in. Bring this in. Where are we? How's that looking? Oof, look at this. Okay, scale on the X axis. Maybe make that a little bit smaller. Bring it forward just a smidgen. Excellent. Now I can go GY here and then push that back in. And let's just go here, X. Done. All right, so now we've got his head attached to this clothing. Beautiful. Now the thing is with Eevee, if I go into rendered view now, what the heck? <laughs> Very simple fix for this. Um, bizarro world with the face I'm going to go into our material so I've got the body selected from here I'm going to come down to settings and change the blend mode from alpha to alpha hashed and there we go I'm going to do the exact same thing the other I'm going to do the exact same thing for the hair alpha hashed beautiful however we can see that the eyelashes are pure black which is very easy to fix so I'm going to come over here to shading and coming down to the bottom, let's just move this over. I'm going to shift A, add in a mix shader. And from here, we're going to add in a transparent shader. And let's just put that in there. From here, we're going to grab the alpha of the color and put it into the factor. And what do we look like? The hair is a bit funky, so let's swap these around. And there we go. We've got his hair. Let's do that same for the the body now if i were to just swap it here the hair becomes the body which is not what we want so let's go back down to hair come over to here on the right hand side select the material 
and select that material. So let's do this again. Let's go search, mix shader, transparent, bring that up here. And let's bring the alpha across. That's wrong once again, and we swap it around and now his eyelashes are fine. And so one last thing, if the face or a texture ever looks dull, but it's applied properly, delete the principal shader and just re-add it. And then everything just seems to fix it. So you can see that the hair seems a little bit off. So let's come up to the hair, delete this one. Principal shader, color goes into specularity, color goes into base color. This comes into the normal and we will connect this back up. And as you can see, the hair just looks that nicer. From here, I'm just gonna use the Auto Rig Pro tool. The link is in the description for that. So I'm gonna press N to bring that up, ARP. So from here, I'm gonna just do get selected objects. And once again, I only selected the head, which is not what we want. So we need to select all the different meshes that I've got. And from here, now let's go get selected objects, zoom it in, add one on the neck, one on the chin, one on the shoulder. So I try and line this up and put it roughly in the middle, one on the wrist, and one on the spine, and one on the ankle. And from here, I press go. And so there we go, we have our rig set up. From here, I'm going to select match to rig. And this is what our bone setup is gonna look like. From here, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do this individually because I find the results work better. I'm gonna weight paint the mesh to the rig, select the head, right click the rig, come over into skin, bind. And from here, I'm gonna select the next part and I'm just going to do this with each individual piece. Okay, so now everything's been binded. I'm going to go into pose mode and let's have a look what it looks like. So I'm gonna rotate. So it's not too bad. Very little work I need to do, which is very good. I'm very happy with that. And as you can see, see that looks, that looks very good. G. Oh, I love this tool. And that's how now we've got this we've got a character rigged up. Very quickly. Beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. I'm trying to make this channel grow as much as possible. And I can only do that with your support.